So right now, ang ginagawa natin dito is gagawa tayo ng USB installation disk ng El Capitan. So this is the 2011 MacBook Pro. Ganun siyang 2.3 Intel Core i5. Tapos yung memory niya is 4 gigabytes right now. And then yung graphics niya is Intel HD Graphics 3000. So naka-install ngayon na Mac OS dito is Lion 10.7.5. Ang plan natin dito is i-upgrade natin yung memory. And then i-upgrade natin yung hard drive at gagawin natin SSD. So guys, ito yung issue ng owner nitong MacBook Pro na to. Nag-install sila ng Mac Keeper. Yung Mac Keeper, ang ginagawa nito, instead na nag offer sana siya ng help sa MacBook Pro for optimization, which yun yung sinasabi niya pag in-install mo, uh, ang ginagawa nito, tinatrack yung ginagawa mo sa computer mo. And also, pinapabagal niya yung computer mo as well. So, never kayong mag-install itong Mac Keeper. Okay guys, so eto na yung MacBook Pro 2011 13-inch. So, we're gonna close this and we're gonna flip it over. Ire-ready ko na yung aking mga tools para ma-open natin itong MacBook Pro. So, here is my iFixit tools. Ito yung palagi kong ginagamit. So, nandito lahat yung uh, kakailanganin kong screwdriver. So, meron siyang sampu. So, here, here it is. Bubuksan na natin ito. Ito siya. Kita nyo ba guys? Napakadami. Napakadaming alikbok. Dust bunnies. Kaya sabi ng owner, nag-over it daw yung yung makbok niya. Alit yun nung umiinit siya. Kasi nga, yung fan niya is mabigat na. Hindi na masyadong umiikot. Hindi na siya masyadong makaikot sa bigat nung fan dahil sa dust bunny sa alikabo. And then also, yung mga vents niya dito, may mga harang na katulad ng ano, hindi na makalabas na maayos yung airflow. So, lilinisin natin lahat to. Alright, so first na gagawin natin is uh, tatanggalin natin yung power power source which is this one right here so tatanggalin natin to okay so first tatanggalin ko muna yung mga flex cable dinadaan dahan ko lang yung pag ano sa flex cable kasi medyo dry na siya okay and then yung keyboard yung trackpad yun na okay, tuloy-tuloy lang natin itong tanggalin yung mga tornillo Dito pala, nag, sa nangyari dito, dumikit yung keyboard cover dito sa area na to, dito sa may heat pipe. Over time sa sobrang init, yun ang nangyari. And see, tingnan nyo yung mga alikabo. Imagine mo kung maghihintay ka pa ng 5 years, 5 years pa bago mo buksan to. 
at linisin hindi lang ganyan siguro so yung client, yung customer nagkakomplain na nga sobrang umiinit yung macro pro niya at super sluggish na kaya naman pala ganito na itsura sa loob so nalinis ko na yung base yung pinaka macbook yung case nya and natanggal ko na lahat ng aling book dyan sa area na yan so eto na yung kaninang super dumi nating logic board natanggal ko na yung mga aling book kasi hindi ko na siya maatim the effective way of mag upgrade and uh, mag ayos ng computer is by lilinisin mo muna siya board nandito yung CPU and then yung uh, Intel HD so ito disassemble natin to katanggalin natin yung heatsink So yung heatsink, not, not so bad. Hindi siya ganun kadumi. Madali lang linisin ito. Pero yung thermal paste is super dry na. So wala na yung effectiveness niya. Kaya naman yung user nagre-reklamo nagre na sobrang maingi daw yung laptop dahil yung system fan palaging naka-on at nagtitrain na pala magiging yung yung hardware kasi hindi na ganun ka-effective yung thermal paste nya okay, ang gagamitin natin is yung arctic clean pang tunaw and pang dissolve nya yung old thermal paste blanket na So, uh, malinis pa natin siya further. Now, yung lilinisin naman natin is yung PC. Same as na. Okay. So, eto na yung CPU. Super linis na siya. And, uh, one last thing na pwede natin gawin dyan. Pa uh, sure na sure na wala siyang residue. Spray na natin ng air. So, ang gagamitin nating thermal paste is yung thermal greasy. Magugulat yung owner nito. Bakit super bilis ng no MacBook Pro? So, ready na ako ilagay ito. I-apply ko ng konti lang. Okay, ganyan lang kadami. Okay. Next, balik natin yung heat sink Okay So here is the first 8 gigabyte. So dim. And next, yung second stick, another 8 gigabyte. So we got total of 16 gigabyte installed. So we're gonna remove this old slow hard drive. Papalitan natin ng solid speed drive.
Hey guys, so this MacBook Pro is really fast right now. After natin siyang ma-upgrade yung memory niya from 4 gigabytes to 16 gigabytes and from a conventional hard drive or regular hard drive and then we upgraded it to the SSD or solid state drive. It's so fast. Lahat ng apps niya when you open it very snappy. If you are planning to buy or looking or first time nyo sa Mac and gusto nyo mag-invest sa laptop, pinag-iisipan yung pumili MacBook Pro. Pwedeng pwede itong 2011 13-inch. So if you're really looking to invest and gusto nyo pasukin yung Apple World and you are looking for a MacBook Pro, itong 2011 13-inch na to, it's ranging around $300 sa eBay. Uh, used na siya second hand. And then, yung nagasus natin sa bagong memory niya, 16 gigabytes, it's around 60 to 70 dollars. Depende sa brand na bibili nyo. And then, also the same with the uh, SSD, around 40 to 60 dollars din yung magagasus nyo. Depende sa brand na gusto nyo. And of course, you have to install the Mac OS X. So, ang napili kong install dito is El Capitan. So, yun ang naka-install. Everything is snappy, everything is running good. Hindi na siya nag overheat there's no thermal throttle. Pero diretso yung clock speed niya nung nagdan ako ng Cinebench and Geekbench. So, itong MacBook na to is very capable. Pwede ka manood ng YouTube, ng Netflix. Uh, pwede ka rin mag-games. Although, limited lang yung games na malalaro mo dito. But overall, this MacBook Pro is capable of doing light to moderate tasks. So, I'm sure magiging masaya yung may-ari nitong MacBook Pro na to. Yung i-deliver na natin to. Maraming salamat po sa panonood nyo. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Make sure the notification bell is on. This is Outrun DYC. See you in the next video.